We're plugging into the sunshine today. We're installing some solar panels and micro inverters. Solar panels today. My name's Alan Hart, and in today's video, we're going to install some solar panels on this job up here. It's on two elevations. I've been invited to this job by Heatable, who do an online fixed price for your solar panels. We'll have a, a look at that a bit more in detail later on, but let's go and have a look at the roof. Just gonna put some solar panels on this side as well. This is a smaller side, and now we'll go and have a look at the other side as well. What we're we doing today then, Ben? We're doing, from memory, 10 here, or 8 here, 4 and 4, yeah, I think it's 8, 8 and 4, uh, so we've got south elevation, and then this is the west elevation. So, so how's this going to affect it, with it being on two different sides? So, because we've got a micro inverter, we've not got any shrinking to worry about, so even though we've only got four panels on that south elevation, which is the only real uh, available roof space there, it won't affect this array, they're all independent um, and we'll be able to share the generation once it's all set up. Some inverters or something in here, let's have a look at these. Better be careful with these. Can you tell me about these Ben? These are micro inverters, N phase IQ7 Plus, so our panel has been designed around those. So what, do, what does it mean? Rather than having one central inverter, they all, but each of one of these sits underneath a panel and each panel becomes its own power plant. Right, so shading, we've no problems with shading. Full optimization, and they only need 12 volts to start up as well. So a traditional string inverter might be strung for two, 300 volts. These turn on earlier and shut down later. So they go on every panel then? Sit on the rail underneath, that way around, yeah. Once you've got your M phase microverter on the roof, you need some accessories to make it work. One of them is this, this is the Q cable, and this is the DC connector. So essentially, these are polarity, you can't get them the wrong way around. I can't even get them in. It's that side. Clicks in there, and your Q cable, which is your AC branch, same job. Clicks on, and that's all your wiring on the roof. So there's no making off, there's no joints. There's also battery storage on this job. And it's just gonna go on this wall, just here. Just got an electrician. So we're just marking out and putting plugs in now for battery that's going to go on the wall there. Yeah. And then we've just got battery there. Just go back up on the roof now to install the brackets. We need to find the rafters to connect them to. Then we need to mark the roof so we can get the rails in the right place to install the solar panels onto them. You see these rails, the lovely black rails. And then we're going to fit the micro inverters on this. Just need to go to the van now and get the solar panels. So we've got loads of solar panels in here. There's also some batteries in the van. So there's two batteries, there's one for this job and one for another one. So we'll just get these solar panels up on the roof and then we can install them. And I'm gonna install one of these panels myself. So I will have actually installed a solar panel. So that'll be really good. Yeah. Ben, can you sort that banner out for us while you're up there? Yeah. I'll just let's screw this one then we can straighten the bottom one. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah. three should stop. You're gonna have to come out today, mate. I've got the pan, I'm coming out. Nice clip. Where does this one go? Say so next one. one. Yeah. Then you just want some tape to secure that to the rail, just yeah, to keep yeah, them right. cables off the rail. So you've got a clip and we have tape. Where's this going? So I'll push that into the rail. Yeah. Probably, probably to the right hand side of the micro. Right. Yeah, just to keep it out of the way. And then if you push that in, and then get your DC cable, so your two cables you just got them, pull it over the top of the inverter. And then you, you want, the aim is to keep them off the roof, so we'll use one clip and then we put some tape on just for a bit of redundancy as well. And then they'll just, if you push that clip down there out, yeah, and it'll like, it should click together. There you go. For this. And then just a bit of tape down here. Just, just, so the goal is just to keep them Just to keep it on the roof? Just to keep it off the roof, yeah. It's not so much of a... I mean, obviously, you don't want cables burning through, but on a DC system, when these are strung, that could be 400 volts. On this system, the worst case is going to be is 40. But obviously, we still want to make sure it's spot on. Here we go. Well done, boys. So lower it down. And it just needs to slide under those two clips there, Al. Yeah. And then we'll use a bracket to space it. Be good at this, Al. Will you tile in? Right out with this. It's easy, isn't it? Solar panels are all installed now, it's time to go inside and take a look at the batteries and see if they're ready to turn on. Right, uh, just need clients Wi-Fi and cat lock sensitive so it's AL. Is that, that one, one, yeah, 700. Is that then, Ben? All done? All done, yeah. Every micro inverter is producing power. The battery's commissioned, the battery's set up. So we're going to share the access with the homeowner now and they can view all their panels production. So can you tell us, just go through again, what's on this job? So this is a 12 panel array. We've got four panels on the south. We've got eight panels on the west. We've got an AC coupled battery with a 5.04 kilowatt hour storage device. And can you tell us about the inverters? Because there's been a few questions about the inverters. So you yes. don't have an inverter on this? No, so there's on the roof, there's a micro inverter behind every panel. And then the battery is AC coupled. So the battery does have an inverter for its own purpose, but it's not connected to the PV array. So that means every panel just works by themselves? Completely independent, yeah. So if you've got partial shading, if you've got a panel that's having uh, maybe some performance issues, the rest of the array isn't down. And it also means if one panel fails, the whole system doesn't go down. 
And can you tell us if somebody wanted a quote for solar panels, batteries, yeah. what do they need to do? So if they go to heatable.co.uk, they can get a quote online. They don't need a salesman in home. We'll do them a free offline design and then they'll get access to our exclusive RVA Fusion 2 panels, M-phase microinverters and this battery line. And the good thing with ours, you don't even need to put your details in, so you can still get yeah. a quote. Yes, yeah, so you can draw your roof, the tool's really interactive, but you don't ask for your details. You can save your quote if you want and get back to it, or you can just view prices online. Thank you very much, and thank no you worries. for inviting me along. Yeah, no, but pleasure. So that's it, what a day. I've had the opportunity to install some solar panels, install some batteries, work with Ben. Just there, look. <laughs> so yeah, it's been great. If you've got any questions, put some comments below. I'm sure um, Ben will be checking out the comments. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks to Heatable as well for inviting me along. It's been really good. We're just on a council job today, look. Everybody's watching Ben at work. How the Ben? He's not happy. Yeah, three, two, one. Yeah. If you like this type of video, please put a comment below and don't forget to check out heatable.co.uk for a quote.